Thousands of New Mexicans drive past campaign signs like these every single day, but it only takes one to send a nasty message. I don't know if it's the message that upsets somebody. I don't know if it's me personally. I don't know if it's just the climate, but yes, they're shredding the signs with, with a knife. It's kind of a violent type of thing. Longtime realtor Kirsten Johnson is running for the open District 18 state Senate seat. It's the Republicans' second time running for state office, but the first time she's faced this kind of political pushback. I believe that everybody has a right to have a belief and that there's room for tolerance and that people can make that decision when they vote. It's a belief she shares with her Democratic challenger, State Representative Natalie Figueroa. We absolutely have differences of opinion and different strategies about how to get where we want to go. But it doesn't have to be personal. It doesn't have to be nasty. So when she heard about this, she decided to lead by example. I texted my opponent and asked her, do you want to set up signs together? And I love that idea. And so we did. Sunday afternoon we met. We replaced one of hers that had been cut down. We put up one of mine together. And we shook hands and we agree that it's time for change in the political discourse. The battle is between policy. The battle is between ideas. It's not about attacking individual people and it doesn't need to be. But even with their good intentions, the battle for political decency is far from over. While we were doing that, somebody drives by and throws a full beer can at us. And the irony of it was just unbelievable to me. Both candidates believe staying friendly on the campaign trail is the only way to truly put issues like crime, education and health care front and center. You know, I would not vote the way she does. I would not handle things the way she does but it's not personal. We do not have the same viewpoints about many things. What we do share is respect for the process and for our democracy.